So tell me, how do you think it went? How do I think it went? Yeah. Um, I think it went as expected. Who won? This is the Dogma Debate. I'm your host, David Smalley. We are broadcasting live from Memphis, Tennessee. Yes! Yeah! So happy to be here. There, there are so many people all over the country and all over the world that are listening right now that are waiting to hear this debate. They're waiting to see the debate that we just got to see because, well, let's just face it, we're special. We, we all got to experience it and they didn't. It was extremely shocking. I am absolutely certain that Matt just absolutely destroyed Psy. I thought that if God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and he knew that he was sending a Christian to convince a bunch of atheists that God was real, I wonder why he couldn't have sent a better to be And I don't think any rational person could still have any sort of belief in Psy's arguments after intellectually, honestly, surveying them. I think that it was generally in favor of that position. This debate is between two very passionate individuals, um, one atheist, one Christian, who have had quite the history of online discussions. You've seen them, I see. How'd you hear about Matt Delahunt? I would occasionally look on YouTube for atheistic TV shows, atheistic debates, and I ran across Matt Delahunty, one of the hosts of the Atheist Experience. But I loosely followed his show, and um, it was a couple of years ago that a caller called in and asked Matt if he'd ever heard about me. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, presuppositional apologetics. Yeah, it's bull. Yeah, uh, I had never heard your, your take on it, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you know about this Saiten Bruben case? Yeah, he's full of bull. I've heard a lot of people have trouble getting past this argument. Atheists have trouble getting past this argument, but it seems like just a bunch of tricks. Well, it's one trick. If Psy 10 what's his face wants to call into the show, um, you know what? I'd rather he didn't. Now, if he, wants to, if he wants to have a public debate at some point, okay. As soon as he gets up and stands up and acknowledges that he's engaging in presuppositionalist apologetics, uh, I'm going to eat his lunch, and then we can talk about something else. It's clear that he's been paying attention to the presuppositionalist knuckleheads like Cy Ten mm -hmm. and uh, Kent, uh, no, not Kent Hovind, um, Eric, Eric Hovind, or Eric uh, who, who supposedly wanted to debate me, but uh, evidently are just too doggone busy all the time to ever actually make it happen. Because um, I offered to take them both on, two on one, yeah. and mm -hmm. they declined. I was never the one that called him out. He called me out, and I responded, and I finally accepted it. And it almost didn't happen, but then just at the deadline, I ended up signing the debate, uh, the contract, and we ended up having the debate. 